morning. Well, Peter got two nice rows of uh, wrapping done yesterday. We got a few more bales to pick. That's just over there. But uh, this morning we're going to, uh, we got one of our bulls that we're shipping and three of our cows. So we're going to load them up. They got to be in early. So morning, Quinn. This is Cutter, our heifer bull, and we're getting, uh, oh, he's running away now. He's going, he's been with us for four or five years now. <clears throat> his semen, his semen numbers aren't the greatest. His semen numbers have been going down, down, and uh, yeah, we're hoping that he actually bred something this year, but. Yeah. I'll take all the credit for this bull being yeah. here. Yeah. He was in all on his own? Yeah. But I was worried he was going to get out because then I'd like, then we're screwed. Come on, buddy. Sorry, dude, but you've done all you're going to do for us. You, you had a cheap rough tail for your lifetime. And then lock him in the very front department, though. That was so hard. All right. These are the two cows we need to get over there. All right, girls, let's go. Come on, let's go, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, if you guys have been following along, the cow right here that's looking back at me, She's the one that had twins and tried killing both of her calves. And she's tried that in the past, so that don't work. And the other one is uh, Dylan's. Come on, let's go. Yep, yep, yep. The other one is Dylan's. And uh, come on, let's go. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, keep going, Dylan. Come on, let's go. Put them on the ground. Let's go. Call him in, Dylan. And the other one is. Uh... Come on, let's go. Yep. Come on, let's go. Yep. Keep bagging up. There, the two that we need are actually going and <clears throat> the other cow that we're calling is uh, Dylan's and he and her uh, mistatus <laughs> her udder uh, had uh, gone full uh, mistatus on all four quarters ruined her uh, udder so she is done Keep pulling him in. Come on, let's go. I think Peter should be on this side. Come on, let's go. Yep.
if we can keep them together it's the motion chase game there let's go they're into her There you go. That's 329. Keep calling them. Let's keep them going in the right direction. Keep calling them. Too early in the morning to be running. I wouldn't. I'd forget about that pail. Come on, let's go. Yep. Yep. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on, let's go. Here, here, take this. I'm moving the ATV. So, we got the cows, two cows we want in here. So, let's see where I can shut this gate. Daryl, where's the best spot I can stand? Oh, there you go. Ah, absolutely. It's about 7.30 this morning. And we got the bowl loaded up. Then we got these two cows that load up and then they're supposed to be in, in between now and nine. That's when they're booked. So I think we're doing pretty good. All right, 52A, 329, Cutter. What are the chances? You know, we uh, we got out here about 45 minutes ago to, uh, we got out here 45 minutes ago roughly to, uh, <laughs> move these animals in and all the animals that needed to come in uh, came in so that's uh that's lucky all right so quinn and peter they're gonna head off they're gonna go and uh they're gonna head off and they're gonna go start wrapping the rest of the bales we figure there's about 50 left i'm gonna quickly uh i'm gonna get these cows in the bowl away and uh, head back and go help them so Rain is supposed to come in the afternoon. So we've got, uh, it's 20 to eight. And so we should have roughly four to five hours to get those bales in, so. All right, so we're just finishing up wrapping here. We got uh, probably 25 bales left or so. And uh, yeah, we got we want to, these are silage bales. And the moisture was testing, uh, um, anywhere from 40 to 65 percent, which is all right. So, uh, with the moisture being so high, you want to wrap them so then uh, it can ferment, and, and uh, they don't also run the risk of uh, spoilage. Well, 
if you don't wrap it at all, it, it will spoil. It will get rotten on you, the silage. So if, you gotta make sure you get it all covered up within uh, within 24 hours of baling. But so far these bales are packed tight. You always want tight bales when doing uh, uh, silage bales. so that there's no air in there. decided to uh, put our uh, bales here. This is on light land. This pasture here, if you guys have been following along, uh, this is where we moved our cows last year, or not last year, in spring when things got really muddy in our yard. Um, where we are right now, this is light land. You can see the trees over there, that's a ridge. On the other side of that, that turn just that changes to heavy land and that is where uh, that's where our place is so where we cab out our cows is in heavy land and uh, we figured we're gonna try putting some bales some feed and some uh, and our silage we're potentially gonna put a silage pile here it's on light land that means we won't uh, we shouldn't have to fight mud when we're wanting to feed. It's about a mile, it's a mile from home. So we're probably gonna split our corn silage here and at home. Um, we got some uh, method behind our madness and give it a try. Try something different and see if it, it'll work. The mile of driving will suck, but when we're feeding, when we're feeding the cows out here uh, in, like November, December, that pile will be handy. And when we're feel it, feeding them in uh, spring, that pile will be handy, so. Okay, neighbor Glenn was by, and he has a scale for his bales, he can weigh them, and we're a little curious on how heavy these bales are, so we're going to, uh, he was thinking they were pushing 3,000 pounds, I'm thinking they're on 2,400, I hope he's right. Okay, bale number one was 2760. Now we're going to grab the skunk bale. 
we're gonna have two different ones from there. These are two different bales from two different parts of the field. So this is our skunk bale. We'll weigh it. And then we'll have to subtract the weight of the skunk. We'll have a good idea of uh, how heavy the the average bales are. Twenty-two hundred and sixty-four pounds. Minus the four-pound skunk, and we got a twenty-two hundred and sixty-pound bale. All right, Peter got this all cleaned up. You got it closed off now, so there's no air that can get at it. 90 bales. In total, there was 279 bales we wrapped. There's three bales over there that got wrecked. We'll feed them out to the... We're gonna feed them out to our bulls and cows and the skunk bale and two other bales that got wrecked. Um, Dylan and Quinn and Parker, they took it out. They took them out to the cows to let the cows uh, chew away at them and see, what they, see how they like those bales. So. looking really good. That corn right here is probably here it's a little bit shorter. But most of that corn is probably in that 10 10-ish feet. It's looking really good. So this rain will help fill the cobs out and uh, get our bushel weight up. Well, that's a wrap for the day. I am glad we got those bales in. It is raining a nice, beautiful, gentle rain. Um, not sure what we'll end up with, but I know right now, right now we're sitting at around a quarter inch to three tenths. And radar shows that it should be like this for a couple hours. So I'm really glad we got those bales cleaned up. Yeah, awesome. Pasture is going to love this. Corn, soybeans, they're going to love this rain. So, um, yeah, feel for, feel very fortunate for getting this. But that's a wrap for the day. We, um, the swather broke down, as why it's in front of the shop. Um, and the parts are coming in tomorrow it was a bolt i don't even know daryl's been working on it not a hard fix but something that's just gonna take a you just gotta get get the right piece little morden should have it in tomorrow and then we can get this thing back together so yeah okay yeah, anyway hope you enjoyed the video thanks for taking time to watch and have yourself a good one